What's going on you guys? A lot of trades have been going down recently. Pause if you want to see the details. This trade right here with Kawhi, I denied it. I decided to take another offer, which is Kawhi for Jimmy Butler. And then I also made another trade. I traded CJ for Julius Randle. So I'm gonna have a brand new team. Kawhi and CJ are gone. I now have Jimmy Butler and Julius Randle. So it'll be my first game with this brand new squad. And I'm going up against the Houston Rockets. He also just acquired Jason Tatum. If you guys saw the first picture in this video, it was Jason Tatum and Anthony Simons, and he gave away Trey Young and DeMar DeRozan. So a couple of trades, like I mentioned, went down because one week has already passed in the season and a lot of owners, a lot of GMs want to make some moves. Alex Caruso gets the nice steal right here. So Caruso is now my starting shooting guard instead of CJ McCollum. I really like it because he brings that... It, that <laughs> wow, I'm choking on my words. Sorry, I got like a, a bad throat. I mentioned it in my video yesterday. So I'm trying to give commentary. I'm still trying my best to uh, do a commentary for you guys because I didn't want to leave it like raw highlights again. <laughs> um, but I do raw highlights when I can do a commentary. But today I feel a little bit better, but I still got the sore throat. So I'm going to do my best for you guys. So that last possession was Jimmy Butler doing a post up. Josh Hart drills the three point shot. And I wanted to touch on Alex Caruso again. So when he is starting instead of CJ McCollum, I really, really like it because he brings that defense. He gets interceptions. He brings that intensity that on the defensive end that CJ McCollum didn't bring because a lot of times CJ McCollum would get abused on defense. They would have a lot of mismatches. They would post up CJ. And a lot of times they would have passes flying in front of CJ's head and <laughs> he wouldn't get the steal. He would just watch the ball. But Alec Caruso is always there to intercept everything. Um, he's also a little bit more athletic, so it brings more versatility. So sure, I might lose out on some shooting. But Caruso brings a lot of other things like <laughs> he's being such a pest. I don't even have to use Jimmy Butler to guard their ball handler sometimes. I could rest him and use Caruso to defend and Jimmy Butler I could use him for offense or I could mix it up. It depends on my matchups. Julius Randle faces up and gets fouled right here. So I really like this uh, this team so far. It's a lot of flexibility. Oh, look at me. <laughs> I went all the way to the other side with the on-ball defender. That's allowed. You could use the on-ball defender to, if you see a pass coming, you could intercept it or go to that place, but you can't off ball but that's still considered on ball because you're using the on ball defender um and jason tatum with a tough layup right here that you know you can't <laughs> you can't stop everything from jason tatum these are superstars they're gonna make tough layups tough shots but you just gotta try and make it as difficult as possible so at this moment it's a one point game he's moving the ball around but we're still playing a great defense look at this rotation jason tatum with the nice euro step so like I said, you can't stop superstars. They're going to get their buckets. CP3 gets a nice layup right here. It's still a tight game. In the second quarter, Alex Russo with another steal. <laughs> I'm telling you, he's such a pest. Alex Russo, I think, has like 91 steal or 89. I don't remember, but he has a really high st uh, steal rating and silver glove. So you got to be careful when Alex Russo is guarding the ball. He pulls up for three with Jonathan Kaminga. He misses, and we're going to go on the break. It's a crazy possession right here. He gets a steal. We get a tip. And Caruso, again, he is so active on defense. He tips that pass. Caruso creates problems. And CP3 with the pull-up three-pointer. And it's a six-point game, and he has to call a timeout. I don't remember this play exactly, but I think I was feeding Julius Randle for most of the first half because he was being a bully. And if Julius Randle is not getting doubled, I'm going to go back into Julius again, face up, and I drive into the paint. You can do a lot of things in the post with your post player. You don't always have to do a drop step. A lot of people in the league, they only do drop steps. As you can see in this video, I don't even think I did a drop step yet with, uh, with, uh, with Julius Randle. I did so many different moves. Every move was different so far. Face up, um, baseline drive. Um, <laughs> I, don't, I, I don't remember all the moves that I did so far. But in the post, there's a lot of variety you could do. And look at Caruso getting another steal. He is a pest. I'm telling you, Caruso is 
Really fun to have on the starting lineup. And Julius Randle again is going to face up and he gets fouled. Is that Julius or is that Jimmy? I think it's Jimmy. Yeah, it's Jimmy Butler. My screen is so small I can't really see the players. Because the previous screen where I am editing the video is really small. So I can't really see the player <laughs> uh, that well. But look at the rebound by Andre Drummond. Such a beast. I'm telling you, even if I miss my shots, Drummond is always there to clean up the mess. Again, Julius Randle, single coverage, face up. Ooh, he rises up like a beast. So Julius Randle has a lot to play for on this team. He will be my main post scorer because I used to use Andre Drummond sometimes when I had a mismatch. But even if I don't have a mismatch, I get attack with Randle because he is so quick. And CP3 gets a layup on the coast. And Jason Tatum, we held him to 4 for 10 shooting so far. So we're doing our best. Jason Tatum is going to go into the baseline. We get a nice help. He misses another layup. Look at that swarming defense so far. He's going to try to get into the paint. Nice rotation. Jimmy Butler is there for the interception. So our team is hawking him on defense and Rozier on the break. So I think our team is a little bit more athletic, more quick on the break. We get more steals, more interceptions. Look at Andre Drummond beasting with that one-handed rebound. <laughs> Oh my god, it's unfair. So he pulls up for three. He misses this shot. We're going to go on the fast break once again. We're going to find Rozier. I'm going to do a nice right to left crossover. I really like when I'm really decisive with the basketball. A lot of times when I'm running plays, I'm not sure sometimes what I'm going to do. But in this game, I was very decisive and quick with my moves. Andre Iguodala <laughs> with the self lob. If that was the Sixers Iggy, he would have dunked that for sure. So again, drive and kick to Rozier. He's wide open for three. Like I said, in this game, I was very quick and decisive with my moves. So Jason Tatum with a tough step back corner three. Nothing I could do about that. Just got to give him his props. So we got Rozier off a screen. And then we're going to run a screen right here. Look at Dwight Howard. He's going to get the monster one-handed rebound. Oh my goodness. I've been telling you guys, Andre Drummond and Dwight Howard is such a beast center combination. They get all the rebounds, all the offensive boards, <laughs> and they get some nasty blocks on the side as well. So you can't go wrong with those players. I'm going to pull up with Jimmy Butler from mid. So at this moment, it's nearly a 20 point game. A couple more possessions in this fourth quarter. Jimmy Butler off a double screen, and he gets a dunk. So a lot of my plays are very. How do I say this? They're varied. So there's a lot of different screens all over the court. You know, you don't know when it's going to come or where it's going to come from. So in this possession, another offensive rebound by Andre Drummond. So that's what I like about this offense or these plays that I'm using. Like you don't know where it's going to come from. Jimmy Butler, <laughs> he gets his trip on Jason Tatum even though the game is out of hand. So Caruso and Jimmy Butler were just being passed. Again, Randall face up. <laughs> too quick so so far this first game was a success we'll have to play more games and get even better so this game is over if you guys enjoyed the video drop a like and a comment and if you guys missed the videos that i posted yesterday and the other days just check out the channel hit the bell notification drop a like and a comment i'm doing this with a sore throat so i'm <laughs> doing my best for y'all so i'll see you on the next one Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video and want to get flashed, please be sure to share and like this video. To stay updated, click subscribe and also follow G 